this is my uh, review and setup demonstration of my Vivor water distiller that I recently purchased a month and a half, two months ago, the beginning of November, I received it. It was a $80 item which I got from Amazon. Um, using it for six weeks now and I'm quite happy with it. I'm planning on getting a second unit so that I can use this one for the first distillation and then use the new unit for the second distillation and then I will uh, begin to make a comparison to see if the second unit uh, builds up scale at a different rate than the first one. I'm sure it will do it on a very lesser process, but we'll see that at that time. Hi, here's how I use my water distiller. Uh, this is the base unit. It heats up from the bottom, the water. I put approximately three and a half liters. This bucket at the top of the blue line fills it uh, just right to the line of the caution line that's in the device. Uh, I like to, uh, what happens is uh, the particles, the things that we don't want, get stuck on the inside of the walls and it becomes what's called scale, uh, which is the minerals and other things that we don't want get left over and build up in this way. So. Uh, oftentimes there's small particles that are broken off from the last time. So what I will do is just drop a few drops enough to get the bottom wet with a little swishability. And I'll swish around to catch the loose particles and pour them into this bucket. Now you may just want to throw them out or whatever, but I'm saving them. Uh, there's quite a collection in here. It's hard to see. I'll take a few photos and include them in that. Maybe you can see something there. Uh, but anyway, uh, so the next step is to add the water. Carefully not to get the plug areas wet. You can use hot water uh, or cold water. The hot water will get the process going a little quicker using tap water. This is tap water, just came out of the faucet. So now we have the collection container and I use a funnel to gather the drops. And this is the top. This is the inside of the top where the water goes through that, collects up in there and then goes into coils. There's a multi, there's a a coil with cooling uh, fins on the inside uh, with a fan to blow the heat out of there. So we install that right on top. It has a nice ring. It fits very nicely. I'm happy with this product. I've had it for about six weeks now. So I plug it in in this way and that way and push the button and it begins. This fan pulls the air out, the hot air, uh, but what I like to do with my equipment at this time is to turn a small fan on so that the fan is also blowing away the heat, which helps the process. It's a little bit more uh, energy efficient and also will uh, extend the life of the distiller. Here we have my uh, water distillation set up. The top of the machine sits like that and there's two plugs. One where the top plugs into the bottom and then one where the plug from the power source into the wall gets plugged. So this is the second run on this, I'm running my distilled water two times as a minimal uh, because of its 
odd uh, properties. The first time there's some kind of a funny feeling in one's tongue, almost as if it's uh, stuff is being absorbed from it. So my practice is to add just a, enough, a few tablespoons of water to wet the bottom and pick up any kind of sediment that could be in there. And I'm pouring it into this bucket because this bucket is my collections bucket and this is all of the sediment that I have picked up in the last six weeks or so if that's visible if not I'll take photos and add them anyway uh, so I add this here and now I will put this that's been the first distillation back into the water distiller So at this time, I'm not doing any vinegar or a scale, uh, which is what the pieces are called. It's called scale because it scales away. Uh, at yet, it's only been a short time. There are two bags of charcoal filters in here. So now it's that simple. I'll add that in, turn it on. So now this is spinning. And what I like to do with my equipment is to have a small fan like this also blowing on it, which what that does is it cools this off. It helps to remove the hot air from the unit. And in a few minutes, it'll start dripping and dripping. Uh, I'll show that. Uh, and it takes about two and a half, three, three and a half, to four hours to finish a process uh, this one distillation so uh, thank you so here's looking down the top of the distiller unit while it's running hard to see the coil down there on the side but it's there So the uh, steam collects in the coil, cools down, and becomes water, leaving all the rest of the stuff behind. And it will drip in here and fill this container. Here's the container with the scale. You can see the chunks. Again, that's about six weeks of just what has flaked off on its own on the inside so that's my review of the v4 v-e-v-o-r water distillation uh, unit it holds uh, three and a half liters at a time and uh, can process with one unit two gallons a day with the double distillation process, uh, two, two uh, containers full a day with the double distillation process. It does not quite fill a gallon. It leaves a, a little short. It's about two thirds in that way. And I'm quite happy with it. As I said, I'm getting a second unit. And I sent one to my daughter.